BYU visited a Weber State team on Saturday that had become accustomed to winning in Ogden. The Wildcats were riding a 20-game home winning streak when the Cougars brought senior Brandon Davies to town. The Wildcats' counterpart, Kyle Tresnak, got in foul trouble early and Davies went off for a career-high 33 points. At practice on Monday, the Cougars said they went in planning to work the ball inside and then pass it back out when necessary against Weber State. Coaches just challenged me to play on attack and, um, you know, they brought some doubles, you know, late in the game, but, um, you know, coaches really wanted me to, you know, attack them and, you know, and make them, make them double. Going into the game, you know, our game plan was to, you know, get it inside um, and, and then to pass it out, but, you know, we were straight, couldn't, didn't do a whole lot to stop B, and so he just kept scoring and scoring and shot the ball really well. And my teammates were finding me and I was able to, you know, put uh, close range shots in. I was really pleased with how consistently we played, played through the post, but a lot of that had to do with Brandon and the fact that Brandon was playing as well as he did. And I'm, I'm really excited that uh, our team was really, um, you know, enthused, content, whatever, whatever the word is, about going to him and continually going to him when he was playing as well as he was. BYU might be just as content to feed their big men against Eastern New Mexico in Provo on Tuesday night. Three years ago, when the Division II Greyhounds came to Provo, neither Jackson Emery nor Jimmer Fredette played, but BYU still delivered a 95-49 beatdown. This time, the Greyhounds are bringing junior Rodney Blackman, a guard that averages 17 points a game. Their guards are, are really, really good shooters, especially the point guard. He's you know, at you know, any time, anywhere, you know, kind of score. He can, he'll pull up, he'll, he'll drive, he'll, and he's really crafted around the, the hoop, and so he's, he's really athletic. Um, so we got to, you know, really play good defense, stay in front of him, make him, t make him make tough shots. He's a great player, and, um, you know, he, he, he creates a lot of offense for his team, and um, he's really going to challenge our guards, you know, defensively, and, um, you know, and they're just going to try to keep him and force him to take tough shots, and, you know, that's all we can do when we're going up against a good player. And if it happens that you know he breaks our guards down, then you know our, our big guys, you know me and, and Brandon and Josh, whoever else is in there, will will step in and help up. And our, our team is built is built around you know team defense. Looking to Tuesday night, Coach Rose indicated that BYU will probably start the same five players as in the Weber State game. Even though the Cougars are just four games away from beginning conference play, don't expect the starting lineup to be solidified on Tuesday night. I think for now that that uh, you know we're really really comfortable with that, but. You know, I think that maybe this season more than ever that uh, the competition on this team um, during the week will, will probably prove to see uh, who actually starts on the weekend. Skylar Hardman, BYU TV Sports.